Hey everyone, and welcome back to Uninhibited, the web series dedicated to forensic DNA. Brought to you by me, Peter John McEnany, and my fellow quality enthusiast, Nick Andrews. Two former forensic DNA analysts, now part of Thermo Fisher Scientific. For this episode, we're gonna be talking about something near and dear to our hearts. Uh, like clam chowder? No, but I am kind of hungry right now, actually. I mean, it is maybe later. Time. We need to get this kind of going right We're going to be talking about quality. Wait, who's quality? Not who, quality. The thing, quality. Yep, but what is quality? It's like a premium. But what is premium? It's like uh, select. What the heck is select? It's like gourmet. What is gourmet? Like boutique. What do, you, what do you mean, like this place? I don't even know what this place is. Okay. What do they sell? We could go on like this forever. We should just go find quality. <laughs> you mean because we're in Boston and it's gonna be like goodwill quality hunting? Day to be in the street. There's gotta quality. be quality though. Where is it? Wait a minute. Look at that. Quality. It's, still, it's quality right meat. Can I ask you a really quick question? You have quality meat. What does quality mean to you? Quality to us at Stillman's means that we're offering our customers the very best. Is that what quality means for us? I think it means, well, it's quality. Let's keep searching. Quality. 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 Where is the quality? quality. Where have is you seen any quality? Quality. I don't know. We must keep searching for it. Do us a favor, We'll Boston. find some quality. Come on. We just need quality. quality. Just a little bit we of quality. We'll find it. Where We're is gonna it? Do it? We'll find it. Don't I worry. I don't know. Stay focused. It's gonna happen. We've been walking for days. Who cares? You need the exercise. Maybe we need to go more like academic. Oh, well, we are in a college town. <gasps> you know what that means? We're gonna go to Harvard. Ooh, Harvard University. I mean, it's no Oxford, but maybe they know definitions. There's about to be smart kids in here that know about quality. Did they ever make a dictionary? Or is it just the Brits? Hi there, how are you? I'm well, how are you? Fantastic, thanks for asking. I just had to stop because I think that that is like a really nice looking laptop and it looks like a quality laptop, is that true? Um, sometimes, I would say for the most part, sometimes it overheats and turns off, which isn't very high quality. Well, shoot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, how would you define quality in general? I think something that's useful for like a long lifetime. Maybe the sun is like melting it or something. <laughs> Maybe. All right, all right. I'll leave you alone. Thank you so much. Is there nowhere in Boston where we can find quality? I have no idea. Where is quality? <sighs> Peter John, I'm tired. I'm sweaty. That last lobster roll has killed me. It's Disgusting. the lobster sweats. Oh. We've been to Harvard, the smartest people in the world. No. We've asked strangers on the street. No one can tell us what quality means. It's just too vague a term. I think this we're going to have working. to go somewhere else. Let's find some real experts. Uh. Uh. We're at the American Society of Crime Lab directors oh, you're meeting. Oh, looking back. We are. Yeah. <laughs> These guys, quality is key to everything they do. That does make sense. Why don't we just ask the experts? Do you know any? They must be in a meeting. Oh, hey, guys, 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 do you have a quick second? I just have a couple of questions for you. You look like some really intelligent, smart, possible forensic scientists. We are. Go with that. Let me ask you this. What is quality? Quality is being fit for purpose. So if you're thirsty and you want a drink, you could use a crystal goblet. It's kind of overkill. It's high quality, but it's not necessarily fit for purpose. A plastic cup, a paper cup, cupped hands, that all would work. It's what is suitable, what is appropriate for the task at hand. Good answer. Can you do better? I think I can. It's the timely necessary service, the what is needed at the time it's not bespoke or boutique. It's a standardized process that anyone can review to make sure that the results they have gotten are accurate. I like that, I like that a lot. Can you have too much quality? Certainly, because you're spending too much for the task at hand. Okay, could have been shorter. Paper cup, quality or no quality? 
If I'm thirsty, I don't care what the cup is. I like that answer. We are here at Asclad, and we found Michelle, who happens to be a quality manager. How perfect is that? Michelle, what does quality mean to you? Well, from a crime laboratory perspective, I would say quality is putting out a product that meets a predetermined set of expectations that we have put out there. Now, regarding quality, can you ever have too much quality? Quality, as you know, is very important, so we don't want to say don't do quality work, but you have to be careful for redundancy. Um, so if you can minimize what you're saying and kind of shorten that answer instead of writing, let's say, two paragraphs to explain something that can be done in one sentence, then you want to reduce that. Hey, we are back still hunting for quality. Haven't found it yet, have we, Nick? But we have Laura, president-elect of Asglad here. Please tell us what is quality. Quality is a process, it's a system. Um, you, if you're going to do something, you go research it, you look at what it is you're going to get done, um, the best way to do it, and then you do it, and you do it well, and then you double check everything to make sure that you did it right, um, and that your answer that you're putting out there is the best possible answer. So it's not an individual thing, it's a whole series of things that fit into determining, you know, as you're putting out a good product. Now quality, too much, too little, can you have too much quality? Yes, you can have too much quality. You can, you know, check something, double check something, but when you start getting into triple and quadruple checks, the return on that is much smaller. So yeah, you can really bog a system down by too much quality. We are still here at Asglad, still hunting for the definition of quality. Haven't found it yet, but we have Melissa with us right now. Melissa, please, what is the definition of quality? Quality is bringing everybody to one known point, right? Where you know that it's a good result, that you know that you have a good product and or a good forensic result and you have faith in it, right? So faith in each other, faith in the process and faith in the laboratories and the products. And what is the most important aspect of quality? Ooh, standardization. Oh my God, what a day. We've been all over Boston. Everyone has a different meaning of quality. Yeah. But what does quality mean to Thermo Fisher Scientific? I don't know. Hey, there's Martin over there. Why don't we talk to him? He's the head of HID. Hey, Martin, we need your help. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Good to see you guys. How are you doing? We have been going all over Boston trying to figure out the meaning of quality. It's such an ambiguous term. Yeah, it's a tough question. But what do we mean at Thermo Fisher Scientific when we say quality? Thermo Fisher Scientific is only successful when our customers are successful. So quality is customer success. How do you mean? Well, quality includes support from industry experts, consistent and accredited manufacturing processes, boosts on the ground when we're needed, and most importantly, transparency with our customers. <sighs> You mean we've been going all over Boston today, trying to find the meaning of quality, and it's been here the entire time. Thank you for clearing that up for us. Yeah, well folks, you heard it here. We finally know the definition of quality. It's not something that you can see or purchase, buy, or even taste. Uh, actually, if you go to the quality meets, they said you could taste it. Everyone, thank you so much for joining Nick and I here at Asklad. We learned so much this week about quality. Yep, and as you heard it, Thermo Fisher, quality means customer success. Your success. That's right. And if you have any questions, as always, you can contact your local field application scientist or account manager. Nick, sign us off. All right, thank you. You know, something occurred to me the other day. I was thinking back about what you said about quality. And it came to me that you're just a kid. You don't have the faintest idea of what quality means. Yeah, you could probably ramble off every word of every published journal article on STR kits like Global Filer, Verifiler Plus. You could probably tell me every single locus, every single die channel, but you haven't experienced it. You haven't seen the Warrington manufacturing site. You've never smelled the clean rooms or heard the Tyvek suits walking around or 
the hum of the filling stations. You don't know any of that because you haven't experienced it. Probably never even been out of Boston. It's my first time in Boston. But the thing is, you're just a kid. You don't know anything about quality. All right. Okay. Are you feeling okay? Is the heat getting to you? A little bit. This is a little weird. I think I've melted my brain. You've never been to Warrington. It's true. <laughs> I don't know the first thing about quality. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>